Hello, and welcome to Clinton Macomb Public Library Tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a reader's review of a work in the Clinton Macomb Public Library catalog. I will assume that you already have Internet Explorer or another web browser open. Go to the address bar and type in our website, www.cmpl.org, and press enter. That will take you to our page. Here you will see the Easy Catalog search. Alternately, you could search from the catalog link, and if you needed more detail, click the advanced search on that page. For our purposes, let's keep it simple. I'd like to write a review for John Grisham's The Appeal. So I'll search for that. And here we are. We have four holdings for The Appeal, two audiobooks, one large print, and a regular edition. You will note that next to the first one there is one review with five stars. The second has no review, neither does the third, and the fourth also has one review with five stars. To view existing reviews, click the One Reviews link, in this case One Reviews. A pop-up will appear providing the review. There's a great deal of information here and options that you can select. The reader rating is 5. Your review will allow you to select the number of stars you would give it. So far the average is 5 out of the one review. Here has the title and the author. If there were multiple reviews you would have the option of sorting it by date newest to oldest, oldest to newest, by rating given, highest to lowest, etc., and most useful. This last one we'll see again. Right here is where you'll select that option. Was this review useful to you? Select yes or no. Simply choose whether you felt the review provided was useful or not. And that will provide a better search for other users looking for this book and looking for good reviews of it. Here you see this review was created by SJ this is a link. You can take a look at their other reviews. It was created in Salt Lake City, Salt Lake County, Utah, in February 28th of 2008. It's a review for The Appeal. This links to the catalog record. They gave it five stars. They have recommended it, one out of one readers recommended it to a friend. And here is the subject of the review. They've chosen to give it the title of the work. You may select whatever you like. Here's the review itself. You'll note at the bottom that there's an option to add a review for this where you can add your own review to this same work. If there were more reviews, there would be additional pages listed in page one of one. It would say page one of two or whatever. And if you wanted to look at those, you would choose the jump option with the drop down menu and select those additional pages as available. For our purposes, let's review a work that has not been reviewed before. Let's click on the large print edition and click write a review. Here you will have the option to log on. You have the option to either register if you haven't registered before, log on with an existing set of credentials, or, if you don't want to register, you can write a review anonymously with this bottom link. If you have forgotten your password but have already registered before, you can simply click this Forgot Your Password link. Hovering over the question marks will provide you with more details of how to fill out these forms. Here you see enter your email address here to log on, enter your password here to log on. These question marks appear throughout this process. To write a review anonymously, click this link. Here you will enter a nickname. You do not have to put your real name for the purposes of identifying the reviewer. Nothing else will be attached, not email or your barcode. Once that's done, I'm putting in tutorials. Simply enter the security code, which is shown here to the left, in the box. 
there's the information for it. Click proceed. This will take you to the review page. I'd rather show you how to register, so I'm going to log off and do it again. My email is tutorials at cmpl.org. And my password, and I'll just log in. However, if you wanted to register, you would click the register here link, type in your email, your nickname, and a password of your choosing. This will not be visible. And click register. It logs you in just as with the other methods. And now you may begin your review. First, select your rating as shown with the question mark. I'm going to give it a 4. Next, select a review title. Let's call it an appealing work. Haha. Now I can begin typing my review in the large box. I'm going to keep it brief and say this was a very enjoyable read. I especially liked the plot twists and interesting use of the court system for the sake of argument. I could make it significantly longer or I could even make it shorter. You can make it larger than this box. There is an arrow up and down that shows that you can extend the review to a larger size. Generally, the longer the review, the better and more informative it is to other readers. This is not always the case. However, the option is available to you. Then you have the option of recommending it to a friend. I'm going to select yes. Selecting no might be a little silly since I rated it so highly up above. With that process complete I now select add review and it lets me know that my review was added and will appear within the next 24 hours. Simply check back to verify that it is up. Now that we're done with that, we can close this window. Some of you may have noticed that there is a log out option, log off. If you would like to log off once you've already written a review, simply click a new write the review link and click log off, and this will log you out of the system. The next time you come, you will simply log on using your credentials and begin again or you can write another anonymous review. These reviews provide more information to other patrons potentially looking to read a book or watch a movie and serve a purpose both to other readers and for you should others review a work that you are interested in. By writing a review for us, you provide more information for yourself and those around you and make our catalog that much of a better experience for all. Thank you for watching this tutorial and for visiting the Clinton Macomb Public Library.